Welcome, welcome. It's Cheryl from Cheryl Schmidt Artistry. Thanks for stopping in today. I'm uh, going to be working back in my um, in my uh, mixed media book here, the um, Strathmore Mixed Media. It is 140 pound vellum finished mixed media paper in this book. I'm creating another art journal page and today I thought I'd play along with um, Mike Deacon's June prompt. He has um, he has a, a Facebook group called Mission Inspiration and every month he puts up a new art journal page prompt. I will leave a link below to Mike's uh, YouTube channel as well as to the uh, Mission Inspiration Facebook group page down below. And uh, yeah, I just thought it'd be lots of fun to play around with this today. Sometimes it's nice to uh, be a part of challenge groups and prompt groups just uh, to keep uh, keep you as an artist moving forward in your art in your art journey and um, and trying different things. And sometimes you just get a little bit blocked, a little bit stuck, and you're not sure what you want to create. You just know you want to go and play and do something. And this gives you some ideas and uh, and you are off and, and, and running. So I want to uh, I want to encourage you to, to look around and see if there's any art groups out there that issue prompts or challenges that would appeal to you and take part in those. If you're new here, thank you for, for coming. Thank you for stopping and uh, taking a look at my channel. Make sure you hit the like button down below and the subscribe button if uh, if you enjoyed today's video. For those of you that are returning, I want to issue a very special welcome back to you. Thank you once again for stopping and, and spending some time with me today. I really, really appreciate any feedback that any of you give me. I appreciate all the thumbs up, the likes, the comments, and the, the subscribes. So thank you so much for, for being a part of my journey on YouTube. June's mission inspiration um, for, for the month of June here is called Above and Beyond, uh, Outer Space, the Afterlife, or Past the Visible Horizon. What can you imagine? So that's kind of your main theme. Um, it's And of, of course all prompts and all challenges are always going to be open to, to interpretation. And you don't have to use all the prompts uh, that he gives in the mission inspiration. You can use one or two of those to get you kind of off and running on, on an art journal page or a card or however you, you choose to uh, to utilize these prompts. The colors that, that he has suggested for this month are navy, magenta, and gold. And of course, anytime you print anything like that out, the colors are never uh, never true to, true to form. And what he calls the ingredients or extras that you can add to your to your art journal page are maps, lettering, doodles, washi, and glitter. So that is the June inspiration for Mission Inspiration. And so I'm I'm taking kind of a, a concept of the outer space afterlife kind of kind of thing. I've printed out a uh, a map and I liked it because it had kind of that gold yellow border on it although after I printed it out I was I'm not really sure how much of that you're still gonna see as I think I'm gonna paint over top of it and this is just gonna be uh, a textural piece that's that's um, on this page it has uh, the constellations and it has um, the uh, astrology signs and stuff like that uh, in it I'm focusing mainly on it as as just a a map of the night skies, a map of the skies, a map of the stars. That's what appealed to me in that piece. And I found this beautiful little little angel here as well that I'm going to pair pair with it. Um, it just, it spoke to me. It spoke to me. Both of these images are from Graphics Fairy. I have a premium membership to that website. And I will leave a link to that down below as well. So please make sure you go over and check it out. There's lots of images over on Graphics Fairy that are free to use. They're, they're, um, they've got a really great, great site. Uh, 
So I'm gonna be playing with the Deco Art Americana. I'm using Royal Fuchsia. That was kind of the most magenta-ish colored paint I had. I've got a really old uh, couple of bottles here of the Adirondack paint. These aren't even around anymore. Um, I've had them in my stash for years and they dry out so quick and they <laughs> I keep uh, reconstituting them with water to, to keep them going. Um, but any, any acrylic paint, any ink, it doesn't even have to be paint, any ink, anything in those colors that, that speaks to you is what, what you, would, you would want to use. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by gluing this down and I'm going to paint over top of the whole thing. I want to create kind of a, a sunset ish feel um, starting with my darker colors at the bottom so it has the feeling of a ground and because my blue is the most opaque um, and you won't be able to see through it but I thought the angel the gold um, tones in the angel would stand out quite nice against that going from the blues into the pink and I'll get a nice uh, a nice purple blend between those two colors and then from the gold or the pink into the gold as the as the sky comes up I get kind of a nice orange blend there so that's that's the plan and the the gold and the pink are more see-through so um, you should still be able to see the map map through it I'm just going to glue that down. You can use any glue you have, a glue stick, uh, you could use Mod Podge, you could use gel medium, anything that you have that will get that stuck down. I would uh, refrain from using tape though of course because the tape um, will have a tendency to let loose I think as, as, you, uh, as you work and put the other wet mediums on. So I just want to double check the placement on that to make sure that her wing will cradle that. Perfect. So the quote I'm going to put on here is, is actually a biblical quote. It's from Psalm 91 verse 11 and it says, For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. It is a scripture verse that I that I really, really like. I don't know how often over the years I've said, you know, man, we never know where or when um, we're being protected. Um, whether you're a Christian, a believer or not, I think we can all acknowledge that sometimes things happen and it, you look back at it and you go, wow, did, how did I walk away from that event unscathed? Um, I don't know how often I've been upset because I've pulled up to a red light and went, man, you know, I'm late. Why, why am I hitting red light after red light? And then, you know, all of a sudden, a few blocks later, there's an accident or something. And, and I've said, you know, so many times over the years, you know, those red lights, who knows, maybe those kept me from being the one that was involved in those accidents. And that's just an example. Um, I'm just watering, I've just put some of the, the paint on my little mat here off to the side and watered that down just because it's a little thicker than what I want. What are your thoughts on that? How Have you ever stopped to think that maybe sometimes things that have happened for as much as you might be upset or frustrated in the moment when it's all over and said and done, you recognize that things could have been uh, much worse than what they turned out to be. You know, we all say, oh, you know, so often we say we've got guardian angels watching out for us. And, you know, I think that's very, very true. I, um, I actually have a, I have a tattoo on my, on my back, on my shoulder of my parents. They uh, were both killed in a plane crash when I was a when I was a teenager. I'm just gonna rinse that that off. And um, so often I'll be doing something, 
and <laughs> literally can hear their voices in the background uh, reprimanding me if it's something that I <laughs> shouldn't be doing. I uh, can hear the, you know, hear them going, oh, come on, you know, <laughs> we, we raised you better than that or, you know, those little, my conscience, if you were, sometimes I, I swear if I turn fast enough, I could, uh, could, could catch them or could see them standing there. So I'm just going to bring this pink in, brush that over the blue while it's still wet, get a little bit of that purple tinge in there. Move that pink up and over. Oh yeah, see that looks so good on there. Now, the pages in this book are removable. They are perforated. So I could, in, in essence, take them out of this book and um, I had to put a little too much pink out. Let me just scoop some of that up and that back in my bottle. Um, I could have, uh, you, you can take them out and, and utilize them in, in uh, put them in a different book, if you will. Move that out of the way. So now I'm going to move into my gold. I'm just going to rinse that brush off. Bring my gold in. So I hope you're been having a good week. Uh, I'm filming this on on a Wednesday, uh, Wednesday, June 16th, I think it is. So I should have, you should be, I'm filming this on, on the Wednesday, June 16th, and you should probably be able to view this. I think I'll have it uploaded uh, and viewable uh, by the weekend. So you should be viewing this on Saturday. Hope you had a good week. Come in with that gold. There we go. Perfect. Oh, yeah. So that gold will um, give us a combination of the glitter because it's uh, metallic, of course, and and the gold paint recommendation for your color prompt. Not sure if you can hear the wind howling. It's a nice day. It's uh, about plus 25, I think, here today. But it's been windy and you can hear that wind howling outside there. There we go. Nice. Yeah, I like that. Put my brush into the water. And then when that angel comes in, it's just going to come in and hug hug in along there. I think that's going to be great. You can see the wrinkles from the paper. I'm not, or from my map. I'm not worried about that at all. I um, think I'm actually going to come in just to add a little bit of distressing because those of you that have been here for a bit know I really, really like my distress stuff. So let's, let's do that. So I'm just going to wet that down and come in and just wipe back some of that paint while it's still wet, lift it off a bit, blend it out a bit more, there we go, like that, like that a lot, and that's almost dry, especially because we were using such, such thin, thin amounts, and I am going to make a little bit of marking. Um, it asked for some doodles and it asked for some washi tape. Now I'm not a, I didn't have any washi tape I really wanted to use. So I'm just going to come in with masking tape 
And to me, masking tape and washi tape are kind of sort of the same thing. You know, they're not a real sticky tape. I've got the hickory smoke, hickory smoke oxide. And I'm just laying my tape down in the, in the ink and that's going to pick up some ink on the paint or onto the, um, onto the tape. And I'm going to smoosh that on and uh, you're going to get, you can use your tape over and over again just to, to put some textural elements on there. Nice. Yeah, just a few random random marks. It's perfect. That's that's good. That's what I want. I think we'll come in. We'll get this angel glued in here now. And I want her wing to just come up and cradle that side of the map. I'm just using my, my beacon three in one glue here. It dries fast, it sets up good. And that oxide ink, of course, is a little bit creamier than your traditional distress ink, so it'll take a, an extra second or two to, to dry. And instead of, instead of coming in around the edges with um, a black marker like I did last time, I'm going to, I'm going to use a charcoal pencil instead. Sorry, I just gotta run over across my table and grab one out of my drawer. There we go. So I've just got a charcoal pencil. Uh, let's see here. That's a. Uh, uh, charcoal 2B is what I have and I want to outline the angel with that. And then I'm going to smudge, smudge that out. It puts a little bit of a shadow in around and behind her. And I rubbed a little bit hard up top here and curled that back. So we'll just stick a little bit of glue down and glue that back into place. There we go. Nice. And I'm going to do the same thing around my map here. And then just smudge and smear that. There we go. 
I like that. I am liking that a lot. Now, let's see here. So let's look at this. So we've got the navy, the magenta, the gold. I've picked my theme. I've got a map in there. I put these uh, markings on here using the masking tape in place of the washi tape. Uh, we can loosely interpret that as a doodle as well. It's mark making essentially. Uh, using the charcoal pencil to draw around the outside edge of everything and give that shadow in. That's a little bit like a doodle as well. So let's get some glitter in here. I've picked, uh, picked this gold pen up and I'm going to come in and just work that into her hair so that she's got this glitter in her in her hair. I'm not sure if the camera is picking picking that up. Can you see the see the glitter? And I want to put some glitter in it, the tops of her angel wings. Camera's not, not picking up that glitter super, super well, but it's there. Hopefully in the close-up pictures you'll be able to, to see it a little bit, a little bit better. Just loose, loose scribbles in there. Now normally I would, uh, I would come in and I would put a uh, typed out quote in here, but it the prompt asked for lettering, and I don't do a lot of handwriting, mainly because I don't like my, my handwriting. I think my handwriting is atrocious. Uh, the whole time I was in school, I think every single report card from the time I was in kindergarten until I graduated from high school said that my work was always good, it was always complete, always on time, but it was messy. My handwriting was horrible and, and uh, it has never, ever improved, uh, <laughs> unfortunately. So I think I'm going to come in and just draw some light pencil lines here. Not sure how many I'm going to need. Let's see, so I'll start, I'll start writing. So I'm going to use my Tombow pen and hopefully I can see my lines. For he will Sorry about that, my camera just turned itself off. So, move you in a little bit here. For he will command his angels. Concerning you. To guard you. A 
that is. Psalm 91, 11. That is essentially my page, I think. Once again, oh, here, I'm gonna just, I've got a big mess here. Move you back out. You can see I've got a big mess going on here, so I want to wipe that up. So this is just a, a plastic cutting mat that I've picked up from the dollar store and cut down to size to have a little work mat um, on my, off to my side for inking and different things. And then I've just got some big sheets of white paper down here on my desk for working on as well. And uh, when this is gets dirty, I'm gonna just take and I'll uh, use it in my art journal books. So it'll, it'll make great background and collage paper. I want to ink up, ink up the edges of my paper. Once again, I'm using my archival ink coffee. I like this because it uh, helps give kind of like a little border to my to my page. Darkens up that edge. Make sure you leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this page. But I'm coming, coming to the end. It was a page that came together quite quick and quite simple. You don't have to spend hours creating an art journal page. You don't have to spend hours in your studio creating. If all you have is 10 or 15 minutes, you can, you can put something together pretty, pretty, pretty quickly. And let's date this. It is, uh, what did I say, June 16th today? Uh, yeah. June 16, 2021. There we go. That is that is my page done for mission inspiration for June. I'll zoom you in a little bit so you can get a little bit better better view. And of course, I'll have still photos of this at the end of the video. Uh, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below so you'll always be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much once again for stopping by and spending a few minutes with me. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.